If you followed me on this channel for some time, you will know that I often harp on cybersecurity. There's a lot of difficulties and realities for getting a cybersecurity career. Yet despite all of these difficulties, I still pursue the subject and have a career in this industry. So I thought I would switch things up, make an actually an optimistic video on why cybersecurity is still a great subject to pursue. It's a great career to get into in spite of all of the difficulties. Yeah, so I'm definitely contradicting myself here uh, with some of the subjects that I do. And as an associate security engineer, for the last two years, I've come to appreciate some key reasons why cybersecurity is awesome, including the opportunities, the continuous learning and challenges that come with it, and just the InfoSec community in general. All right, so let me expand on these three reasons and really the overall approach that I have still in this industry, despite the challenges. The security industry offers a vast amount of career opportunities. It's a broad range of study, and if you're interested in technology, it makes for really interesting areas that you can pursue. So anything from being a cybersecurity SOC analyst, which responds to alerts and incidents, to being an internal penetration tester, which tests and exploits vulnerabilities in an organization, a bug bounty hunter, which probes for vulnerabilities and network vulnerabilities for a reward, a security engineer who implements and designs procedures, security architect who designs the actual networks, or a GRC analyst who analyzes and conducts audits in an organization, you can get as technical as you desire to be. So you don't need to be an expert in all areas of subject. In fact, it's virtually impossible to be an expert in all areas. And you can get as low level as you want, or you can stay kind of mid-level. Right now, that's what I'm doing, kind of just staying mid-level. But if you wanted to, you could get into low-level code, exploit development, or you could just continue to explore different opportunities. Uh, so there is just a vast amount of opportunities that cybersecurity offers. The continuous need to learn and challenge oneself is perhaps my favorite factor for getting into cybersecurity. Technology is ever-changing, as we know. I mean, like one day you master Python, and then the next day there's some other programming language you got to go master. Uh, but really, ultimately, learning a new tool, technology, a concept, any of those general words, and building this out in a cybersecurity lab environment or, or just you know, doing this in a proactive manner really provides a unique learning opportunity for you to build your knowledge, your hard skills, and even your soft skills. So unlike many office jobs, cybersecurity can be as fun or as challenging as you make it to be when you proactively go out and self-study. Uh, and I'm like uh, hopping around all the time. So for example, last week I was learning uh, some assembly code. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I'm trying to learn registers, memory management uh, to help assist me in my malware analysis project. And then this week I'm writing some Terraform code and I'm in AWS building out my own cybersecurity detections home lab. And I know it sounds all trendy, but really each week I'm hopping around different concepts because it's just really fun to, to explore and tinker around. And this is very similar for a cybersecurity career, depending on which position you're in. So for example, uh, you know, one week I could be writing a small Python script to automate some sort of ingestion into alerts. And then the next week I am working on a vulnerability management pipeline. I don't know. There's just a lot of different stuff you can do. Every day provides a unique learning opportunity and challenge if you choose it to be so. And like for me, it's just always acquiring new skills. Now, speaking of skills, uh, if you're interested in developing your cybersecurity skills and getting started in the cybersecurity industry, I recommend that you take a look at the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate taught on Coursera. Now, full disclosure, Coursera has sponsored this integration, but this relatively new Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate has received a lot of great reviews. It's a 4.9 rating stars, 150,000 plus students, and it provides a practical approach to learning the foundations of IT and cybersecurity while learning a specific set of technologies. The Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate has eight total modules, and each module has a skills you'll gain section, so it's specific technical skills that you'll actually acquire. Uh, and these can include learning about the NIST framework, incident response playbooks, you're learning about cloud, network security, wor working with an IDS, a SEM, 
using Python, Linux, SQL, and many more cool skills you'll learn. The most compelling reason why I continue to recommend this certificate for beginners is because it has a hands-on practical approach. You learn the foundations of IT and cybersecurity while also building projects. You can find out more about my video on the Google Cybersecurity Certificate in the link in the description below. There is a seven day free trial for everyone who wants to try out and get a feel for the program. After the free trial, the program is $49 per month. Additionally, if you follow Coursera's recommended six to seven hours per week, you can get this certificate program done within six months. You can check out more about the Google Cybersecurity Certificate's seven-day free trial and Coursera using the link in the description below. So finally, reason three, the InfoSec community is a really supportive and uplifting community. I mean, the memes are on point usually. And, you know, for as quirky and unique as individuals can be in technology, really the cybersecurity community offers uh, a great supporting community for individuals to get into the industry. The cybersecurity community can be manifested in, in many ways. You know, you have blogs, articles, podcasts, Twitter, Discord servers, communities, local meetups, big national or international conferences. Really, uh, the InfoSec community is huge. Many cybersecurity communities and professionals are more than happy to help you if you're an entry-level beginner within this industry, both from a career perspective and just, you know, as a hobby. You can find hobbyists who do some really cool projects or even professionals who can provide some mentorship if you go and seek that out in the right way. And I think that ultimately, the cybersecurity community um, has been great. I've gone to my local cybersecurity meetup chapter here, and uh, I've been welcomed and included in the conversations, even when I just show up alone. And I, I really do thoroughly enjoy this community. So cybersecurity, it's awesome. And as generic as my reasons are, uh, I really do believe that the challenges that one faces, the realities that you may face, Cybersecurity career, it, it can be a very rewarding industry to get into. It takes a lot of hard work and effort, but through time and persistence, I do believe that this industry is, is really flourishing. And I think that if you are considering getting into cybersecurity, it's uh, worth considering. So what are your thoughts on this industry? What, what do you like about it? What do you not like about it? What have you experienced? Well, leave a comment in the description below. I hopefully will be able to get back to you. And uh, yeah, well, until the next time, have a good day.